All right, we're showing you live pictures happening right now. Three Chinese astronauts are returning to Earth more than a week later than planned. Their journey home from China's space station was delayed because tiny debris in orbit is suspected to have cracked a window on their spacecraft. And the three had to wait nine days to voyage home using a backup plan. So as we watch this, uh, this landing here, I want to bring in CNN's Mike Valerio, who's uh, watching with us from Beijing. Mike, uh, very cool. We were seeing those pictures of the capsule sort of uh, glowing as it was uh, going through the atmosphere. And then we saw the, uh, the, the parachute open, and now they're about to land. Tell, tell us about where they're landing and, and take us through this, this remarkable story of uh, why it's taken them so long to, to get back now. Could not have timed this live shot better, Kim. The magic <laughs> of TV and everything going right on this return back to terra firma. Exactly. Where the drama was, sort of the moments of space suspense, boils down to there being too much space junk in low Earth orbit. More than 140 million pieces of stuff orbiting around the Earth. So a couple days ago... We did get an indication from China's manned space agency that one of the two spacecrafts docked at China's space station was hit likely by a piece of space debris. And then we got the indication in a little more detail this morning that one of the spacecraft, its windows had a crack in it, again, likely from a piece of space debris hitting it at a very high velocity. So as we talked about in the last hour, what made the difference here was there being two vehicles docked at China's space station. So one was for the incoming astronauts. The other vehicle was for the outgoing astronauts, who we see right here coming back down to Inner Mongolia. Mm. It's a couple of hours drive north from our position in Beijing, one of the uh, scarcely populated regions of China, uh, where uh, manned space missions come down with a parachute pretty frequently. So what the astronauts, or taikonauts did, as they're called in China, they said, we need a backup plan. There's no way that we can come back to Earth in this spacecraft that has a slight crack in one of the windows. So the spacecraft that brought the new team of astronauts, that is the spacecraft, the capsule that we are seeing right here, that's been used to bring the old team that spent uh, six months uh, on uh, Tiangong Space Station back down to Earth. I should note though, we kind of glossed over it in the last hour, this is not quite as simple as getting into a new car when you have two cars in your garage. Mm. What these astronauts had to do, they had to reconfigure actually the reapproach procedures coming back to Earth. And all of these seats, Kim, are custom made. Uh, when you're packed in pretty tightly, you need a custom made seat. So those had to be adjusted. Uh, the procedures for landing certainly had to be adjusted as well. So we are seeing within the next couple minutes, these three astronauts, after they had to spend nine extra days in orbit to come up with a plan B, uh, apparently landing safely. Thank goodness for that. Uh, a couple hundred kilometers, 100 miles away from where we're perched in Beijing right now. Yeah, as we're just watching a, a plume of smoke emerge from that, uh, from that uh, space capsule. Uh, so we're just going to watch as they land, hopefully safety, safely, as you say. Uh, in the meantime, as we sort of watch this unfold live in front of us here, uh, it, it leads me to, to the obvious question, if these astronauts are taking the 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 vehicle from the uh, the ones that were up in space. I mean, how do the people who are who are up on the space station get back home then? Yeah, they're going to send a new spacecraft uh, much sooner than they otherwise would have because right now there's China's space station, the Tiangong space station, and it has that spacecraft that has the crack in the window. So the astronauts, to your point. They're up in the space station with a slightly damaged uh, vehicle. So what needs to happen is a new one, Shenzhou 22, needs to come up earlier than expected. It was going to come up at some point next year uh, as part of the ferry system to ferry astronauts back and forth from Earth to the space station. Uh, but they have to get these astronauts a viable return option just in case, because right now they don't have a, you know, as close to a completely safe option of getting back to Earth uh, as they should have right now. What they're going to do with uh, Shenzhou-20, the damaged spacecraft, they're going to run experiments on it. 
keep it up there so they can just see like, all right, so if we do have a damaged spacecraft in the future, uh, let's take some measurements and just see how it's interacting with the environment. But, you know, when we were talking to uh, a couple experts, especially an astrophysics professor down in Hong Kong about this problem, he was saying this is going to be a huge deal when we have more and more satellites going up. There could be a point where there's too much space junk, uh, too much space junk to the point where, heaven forbid, it's not safe. So this is just a tiny microcosm of that problem we may be hearing about more and more, I shouldn't say may, we will yeah. be hearing about more and more in the years to come. Ken. Yeah, that's right. I did talk to an expert uh, on space junk uh, specifically, and it was just uh, impressed uh, on me sort of how little it takes to, to damage a, a craft when the when the speeds are uh, as as, yes. a, as high as they are there. So uh, we're going to leave this uh, right now as these Chinese astronauts are uh, hopefully uh, going to land safely in Inner Mongolia. Uh, always a relief when astronauts uh, land back on Earth, but especially for these ones who had to wait an extra long time. Mike Valerio, uh, great to have you on uh, in this uh, moment. Appreciate it. Mike Valerio in Beijing. Thanks so much. Thanks, Kim. All right. We'll be right back here on CNN Newsroom. Stay with us. All right. want to go now back to CNN's Mike Valerio in Beijing as we're seeing their Chinese astronauts returning to Earth. They just... Uh, touched down uh, in that big puff of sand and dust. Mike, uh, take us through this moment and its uh, significance. Landed. What a relief. It was a couple days of space suspense, Kim. This is not just the average mission. So dramatic. I mean, palpable sense of relief for more than a billion people in China and the space community writ large. So incredible that we're seeing this picture. And it's dramatic because the return vehicle for these three astronauts was damaged. We got the indication a couple days ago that it had likely been hit by a piece of space debris. And I think it's all lodged in our popular consciousness. What a tiny crack in anything involving space travel can potentially lead to disaster. So they had to come up with a plan B, China's main space, uh, manned space agency. And what they did, they said essentially at China's space station, two space capsules, let's use a different one, and they made it back yeah. safe. That's the long story short. Unbelievable. Well, it's been great tracking this with you as we saw it in space and then with the parachute and then now finally uh, landing a huge moment for China. Appreciate it. Mike Valerio in Beijing, thanks so yeah. much. That wraps this edition of CNN Newsroom. I'm Kim Brunhuber. World Sport is next.